Hi, this is .NET Gyan, and this video is about NLog Part Three, which is uh, logging in SQL Server uh, using NLog in .NET Core MVC application. Now, let's start with the implementation. Uh, I will use the same uh, application which is used in earlier uh, uh, video tutorial or video. So I will uh, use it and we'll start with adding a NuGet package. We need to add NuGet package in order to implement SQL Server logging. So go to manage NuGet package, then browse, then search Microsoft data dot SQL client. Microsoft data dot SQL client. So you need to choose the version 3.0.1 and click on install. Click on OK. It will uh, install the package. Now uh, the package is installed. Now we need to create a table in SQL Server. So this is my DB EMP. So we'll create a table. Script is all ready. The table name is app exception. I have added ID, date, label, exception message, exception, stack trace, and custom property columns to it. Let's create a table. So, table is created. Now we need to add a target to NLOG, NLOG config. We need to add target in NLOG config file. So just open existing in log config. So we have two targets already, one for file system, one for CSV. Now we will add for SQL Server. So in this, uh, we need to mention name. We need to mention DB provider. This is very important. Uh, and also need to mention the connection string uh, to which DB you are going to connect and how you will connect username password all credential and then the command this command is SQL command which will used by the nlog to uh, store data in SQL server so we have created parameters these are parameters these are column names so each parameter uh, we are uh, uh, assigning a layout so you can see the date for, for date we, we are assigning a date level we, we are getting from the level uh, whatever level we are passing uh, to the log and message whatever message we are passing to it it will uh, assign to exception message parameter and so on so this this is a uh, uh, important setting we need to do in nlog config then uh, after that we just need to create a uh, rules so i'll copy the rules copy this name target name to this just put in the both uh, name and target right to uh, minimum level i have kept is a trace so every uh, message will be logged in uh, this uh, sql server uh, table so next step is uh, we need to add one interface so earlier we have written into csv file now we will write as a sql server this method and it will also uh, uh, take error message and exception object. Now we will implement it in logger manager. Just go click on implement. It will create method. Now we just need to create one object. So this object would be new SQL server rule name create the rule name object then just uh, 
use that object dot set property this is a custom property i'm just giving as an example you can do uh, you can write uh, your own so custom property i will copy from the analog config file okay and its value this is message okay so another is we need to send log error ex object we need to pass and then custom message whatever we are passing to this method okay so the setting is done we need to use this uh, in a home controller which we have used before cv the new method we need to call from here the same thing all set table is created nlock config is done interface uh, we have added new method for sql server we have implemented the interface met member method and now we are calling from the home controller let's uh, run the application and see the result so we'll take time till the till till it uh, runs you can subscribe to my channel and also uh, press the bell button for regular updates it is getting running yes it came to the index action and we have deliberately added custom exception and log it to the various logging method now uh, we need to just we just need to check the output in a sql server which uh, in a sql server table we have which we have created let's run the command select all from table name here uh, you can see that uh, the logging is done in sql server whatever data we uh, send to the method it is getting logged in the sql server so this way you can easily implement the n log uh, uh, logging in sql server uh, in your dotnet core application thank you for watching and uh, we uh, i also uh, added one link for uh, the uh, for the code you if you want to uh, have a source code to uh, run and check i have added in a uh, description thank you for watching the tutorial at dotnet gan india youtube channel please subscribe to the channel for the regular updates Thank you.